Sagittarius. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Sagittarius. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Sag with a clear, concise message from you. Let's see what the week is about. The Seven of Swords. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see what the advice is for Sagittarius. What's the advice for Sag? The advice. The advice for Sagittarius. Okay, the Nine of Cups. Okay. And the outcome is the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so... Um, So some of you with the Seven of Swords coming out is what the week is about. Of course, deception, lies, trickery, masquerading, um, things not being as, you know, they seem. Someone's trying to get away with something um, in a relationship, in a situation, in a marriage, in a partnership or business. How someone is interacting with you is very covert, very, you know, obscure. Um, maybe even holding something back. Somebody really wants to go it alone, wants to be the lone wolf. Some of you need to keep your plans to yourself. Some of their, some of you, your plans need revision. Right now, it's not an opportunity or time to do anything. Okay. Um, Some of you, there could be a pregnancy being kept secret here also. It's not an opportunity. Right now is not the time to, to be in total communication about your plans and what you're doing. And it could be in terms of a pregnancy. You could be, this could be early on. In the pregnancy or this could be kind of later into the pregnancy where you're gearing up for motherhood you're going from maiden to mother so some of you this will be your first child it's like you're readying your body for uh motherhood or your body is getting ready for that or um you're getting close to gestation Getting close to the end of gestation, excuse me. Some of you have been hiding this pregnancy because you wanted something to work. You wanted a relationship to work. Something that's been done over and over again. Maybe it's a relationship where you're a little bit more invested in the other person. Um, or vice versa, they're more invested in you. Some of you have a mistress pregnant. This could be like a cyclical relationship where, um, you know, there's periods of it's just being super intense. Uh, and then there's a period of just like dis disconnection. It's, you guys are disconnected. It's off now. And, and that's the cycle. On and then off. On and off. There's somebody here who's not doing anything in order to see something through. Someone's going to let the other person do the work. Let them show up. The Eight of Pentacles says over and over. Wash, rinse, repeat. Or rinse, wash, repeat. I don't know how, how it goes. Somebody said just 
it's really at a place of um, you feel like something is cyclical. Yeah. They, they feel like they're in a cycle, on a cycle. Someone might be keeping a pregnancy from you or you from them or something like that because they want it to work or they want it, they want to carry full term or A decision needs to be made here, though, um, and it could be about a, a partnership, some union. Let's see what the Moonology card has to offer you. Someone is longing to, somebody's lying about their intention. There is no intention. Somebody's focused on work. Um, maybe having some, you know, sensual, sexual relationship. And that is all. They don't want to have a full-on commitment. <clears throat> commitment or relationship. They're not saying it to you. They're having a, a trouble speaking this to you. Someone has solo plans also. Their plans do not involve um, this connection. Or it's not us, it's, it's just me. It's what somebody is um, not saying to you. Somebody's trying to show their true nature, their action in so many different ways from what they say, from their emotions to what they actually do, what they show you. Expect powerful change, the new moon eclipse. So something's gonna leave, okay? Something's going to be going. Something is diminishing here, something is over. Uh, maybe around the new moon, the next new moon, um, something's gonna be over, okay? Um, the powerful change could be one that is great, and then it could be one that is not so great. Um, it could be one that, um, you know, it takes away something or it, it eclipses or moves something away or out of your life. Um, let's see if we can get some more information about the new moon eclipse. Um, so it's a it's a yes answer a thousand times over so if you have a question the answer is yes whatever is happening now do know it's happening for your highest good this is an important turning point in your life yeah so like i said some of you are going from maiden to motherhood um it says never mind the past life life evolves every single day um you're being put on towards uh, the path of your life purpose. A new portal is opening up for you. I'll just have the courage to walk through and forget about the past. Again, there's nothing to fear. Someone is on like the tail end of their pregnancy here. They're getting ready to give birth soon. Okay. So this is your reading, Sagittarius. I hope that it resonates for you. Go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Thank you, Sag. Many blessings to you. Take care.